Mathis de Ligt speaks out as he travels to complete Manchester United transfer. Bayern Munich defenders Mathis de Ligt and Nusser Masrawi have travelled to the UK on Monday morning to finalise their move to Manchester United ahead of the new Premier League season. United have agreed an initial €45 million, Euros, £38.5 million pounds, fee with Bayern for de Ligt which includes a further €5 million, Euros, £4.2 million pounds, in add-ons. De Ligt will also be joined by a second Bayern Munich player at Old Trafford as a €20 million, £17.1 million pounds, deal for Masrawi has also been agreed. Both De Ligt and Masrawi were seen at Munich Airport early on Monday morning ahead of their flight to Manchester, with De Ligt telling Sky Germany reporter, Ben Heckner, Nasser is waiting for me. De Ligt and Masrawi are set to be registered in time for United's Premier League opener against Fulham this Friday. Meanwhile, Rio Ferdinand feels it is a big ask for De Ligt to make an impact at United given his injury record at Bayern Munich. He's had a lot of injuries, hasn't started many games over the last two or three years and Man United are spending 45 to 50 million pounds on him, the former United defender said on Rio Ferdinand presence. Is he going to come into Man United and make a difference? I think it's a big ask for him and all eyes are going to be on him. Big pressure, big opportunity for him. But there's a lot of uncertainty I think with this signing because of his previous seasons with two big clubs not going as well as we'd have anticipated. Ferdinand's former United teammate, Paul Scholes, has also criticized the decision to sign De Ligt. With Man United, we're talking about players who can't get into their team. He's, De Ligt, not playing for them, Bayern, that has to be a big concern, especially when Eric Dier is playing in front of him. That is a massive concern for me, Scholes told the overlap. When you're bringing in players for £40 million, £50 million just because he's played for him two or three years ago. Juventus got rid of him, he wasn't good enough there and he obviously hasn't been good enough at Bayern Munich. He's coming to us almost like a second-rate defender. Ineo schedule crunch meeting to map out how they can offload £120,000 a week United man before his contract expires in 2025. Manchester United are hoping to sanction several more sales to balance the books before the window closes at the end of the month. Today, Aaron Wan-Bissaka is set to join the likes of Donny van de Beek, Willy Cambuala and Mason Greenwood as first team departures this summer. Alvaro Fernandez, who never made a senior appearance for the club, saw his buy option activated by Benfica after impressing throughout his loan spell. While Juan Bisaka is making his way down to London to complete his West Ham United medical, Nusser Masrawi and Mathis de Ligt are en route to Manchester to undergo theirs, with the Bayern Munich duo targeted by bolster Eric Ten Hag's defensive contingent following last season's unprecedented injury crisis. The two impending arrivals will then presumably be cleared to feature against Fulham on Friday. De Ligt, 25, is expected to partner Lisandro Martinez during Lenny Yoro's extended three-month absence, leaving the likes of Harry Maguire, Johnny Evans and Victor Lindelof to wait for their opportunities, the latter, however, could be offloaded by then. Per Mail Sport, Ineos have scheduled a meeting to map out their plans to sell Lindelof. The £120,000 a week Swede has fallen in the pecking order while also struggling with frequent injury setbacks, especially last term during which he made just 20 starts in total across all competitions. He does have one year remaining on his contract at Old Trafford, but senior figures are reluctant to lose him for nothing when the time comes. Ornstein delivers crucial United transfer update that will ease fans' concerns over one deal. Manchester United are preparing to sanction the exit of Aaron Wan-Bissaka in the coming days, after which they'll welcome defensive duo Mathis de Ligt and Nusser Masrawi to the club. On Sunday evening, it looked as though the right-back's move to West Ham United was in jeopardy. David Ornstein shared an update revealing that both clubs were in talks to resolve the final details of his prospective transfer and, as such terms hadn't been finalised yet, Wan-Bissaka stayed in Manchester despite his medical being booked in London. The ever-reliable journalist then followed up his report over two hours later with confirmation that the deal was now fully agreed with all issues resolved. The 26-year-old will undergo his medical this morning before putting pen to paper on his irons contract. In turn, United will gain £15 million from his departure, which will cover the majority of Maserawi's £17 million fee, £4.2 million is on add-ons. 
However, they will be forking out a hefty 38.4 million pounds up front to sign Delict. Blow for Ineos's complete midfield target is now prepared to snub United interest in favor of Euro Giants. As Manchester United prepare to welcome Mathis de Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui to their ranks today, work will continue behind the scenes to find a suitable midfield addition before deadline day. Since cooling their interest in Manuel Agarte due to Paris Saint-Germain's excessive demands, the Reds have been linked with a host of candidates to bolster Eric Ten Hag's options for the forthcoming campaign. Recent speculation suggests Sander Berga is the most likely contender to be signed, given that Ineos Chiefs have already approached his representatives and reportedly tabled a £100,000 a week contract proposal. United were also said to be hot in pursuit of Yusuf Fofana last week, as he will 100% leave Monaco this summer, according to Fabrizio Romano. The Frenchman, deemed a complete midfielder by Statman Dave, has been widely targeted this summer due to his public desire to part ways with his current club. Even West Ham United tried their luck by sending a bid Monaco's way. However, both English outfits must brace themselves for disappointment, it seems, because Italian outlet La Gazzetta dello Sport claims Fofana is preparing to snub interest from clubs in favor of completing his dream move to AC Milan, so much so that even if a transfer fails to materialize before the window closes, he will stay in France and see out his contract to then move as a free agent in 2025.